What's up guys, in this video I am camping at a truck stop and going up to the famous Horseshoe Curve in Altoona, PA. But first to stop in Crescent. Alright, looks like you found the tracks that I was looking for. There's this little park here. Whoa, what is that? That is sweet. There's supposed to be like a little rail front park that popped up on Google that I kind of want to check out. Now yeah, it's got to be like over there. Nine foot three, what am I? Yeah, you'll make it. You'll make it. <laughs> Never had to worry about that in like my own vehicle before. We're not in Gallatin like I thought. We're in Crescent, PA. And I gotta say, this is kind of a cool spot. I'm gonna check out this little park here. Oh my God, this is so cool. What's in there? Oh, that is awesome. Can't really see. These little old towns, like, I don't know. They're just really cool. I don't know how long I'm gonna hang out here, but I'll try and hang out here long enough to maybe see something. I don't know if these trains are even running now. So I saw signs that you're not supposed to be in the park after sundown. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of wait to see if a train comes by. I'll wait a little bit longer. And I'm probably just gonna try to head to a truck stop. There's a, there's a couple truck stops I have in mind. There's one on the main route over to Altoona, and then there's one in Altoona itself uh, called Ritter's. And I think I'm going to try and stay at Ritter's because I've never been to a Ritter's before. All right, well, sadly, a train never came. It's 8 o'clock. i got to go to the bathroom, so i got about a 10-mile journey over to the truck stop. I'm just going to head over there right now. This looks like it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's the truck stop. Nice. So, yeah, we're just back here. In the back alley, they got the cat scales and everything here. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna post up for the night, go grab something to eat. All right, I'm hoping this spot's okay, but I smell a freaking skunk. As soon as I pulled over here. <laughs> so, hopefully I don't get sprayed by a skunk tonight. Oh, I did wanna mention, I did buy some truck stop cookies here, so I am a paying customer. There we go, we got ventilation on both sides now. I'm gonna stick a little fan there. You always gotta have ventilation, no matter what the temp is. Always want ventilation, I'm gonna put that on low though. It's definitely gonna be a cool night. We got four bars out of five on the T-Mob. So it is 5G, so let's give that a shot on the speed test, see what we're getting. All right, getting pretty good speeds. 140, that's about 100, only 100 megs less than Starlink. And wow, 40 upload too. I could stream from here. <laughs> All right, so looking good, looking good. Good internet here, nice. And the blink cams are now set up, uh, and we got security outside the van. So anyone pulls up next to me, I'll know about it before they kill me. Oh yeah, so if you follow me back under here where the TV is, um, I have to plug in the TV every time I set it up and plug in my phone and stuff. So I got this little puck light under here now. So now I can actually see where I'm plugging the TV in. <laughs> instead of like trying to find it oh that is so much better why didn't i do that before no no ah oh. good morning uh it's like nine o'clock i wanted to get up at like seven uh but Obviously that didn't happen. Not a bad night. Um, nobody bothered me overnight. Uh, my cameras have been going off constantly because just the cars that just been coming in and out of here. But I think it's time to get out of here before I overstay my welcome. I think the first place I want to go to is Railroad Museum because that's closer. And then we'll head up to Horseshoe Curve. Yeah. How's my power doing? 50%, not bad. Oh, get this thing warmed and toasty. I gotta say, I played Rocket League all night last night. T-Mobile Internet's where it's at. Not as fast as Starlink, but worked great with video games and like the latency and stuff.
So this is the turntable. This is freaking awesome. I was gonna stop inside the actual museum itself, but I'll be honest, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I think I just kinda wanna go up to Horseshoe Curve. That's why I came out here. Um, and I just really want to go up there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna head up the curve. I got this little wide angle lens here. Let me just see if this like makes a difference. Is that wider now? Is that wider? That's without the lens. That's with the lens. I'm gonna go up there and uh, yeah, let's head up to Horseshoe Curve, baby. Let's do it. Looks like we just missed the train going through right now. Coming out the other side from where we're at. All right, we are here. Let's go see if we can uh, catch a train. Should be another one coming through here soon, hopefully. So they have this incline here, but it has been down for like years. It would like, zip you up to the top up there but <laughs> we get to take the stairs I'm not even gonna make it up these look at these steps how does anybody make it up here oh my god I gotta stop sitting and playing video games All right. oh man feel the burn oh. I don't remember it being this bad Last time I was here, and I've been playing drums for the past year. Almost, almost there. Oh, I'm still like dying from walking up those steps, but it is nice and peaceful up here. There's like one other person, and I'm just gonna wait for a train. That's where we were last night, Crescent. There's the curve. And there's where we were this morning. Now. B five zero. All right, back down to death stairs. Dude, I don't even know how I made it down these steps, but that was pretty awesome. And there's something definitely cool about this place that, I don't know, it's like better than watching trains anywhere else. It just looks so cool. It's just the grandiose scenery of the, the tracks wrapping all around you. I don't know, it sounds weird, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. But I'm gonna head back to the van now. There's one more place I wanna check out. So we're leaving here. I think next I'm gonna head out to a place called Gallatin. There's uh, the Gallatin Tunnels, which is kinda cool. Not as cool as this, but I've never, I've been up there before and I've never actually got to see like a train going through that tunnel. So I don't know why, but I kind of want to go check it out. But we're going to go check it out right now. Let's head out of here. There's like a closed off tunnel there. I guess an old roadway or maybe that was a train tunnel. Who knows what that was. <laughs> Pretty cool though. All right, after Garmin trying to send me down a dirt rutted out road, <laughs> we have made it to Galitzin Tunnels. 
I don't know if they come up this way anymore, but at least in train sim world, they would come through this tunnel here. So we'll see how accurate video games are. All right, this place was kind of a bust. Um, no train ever came. I don't even know if these tracks are like active still, but I was basing my knowledge on video games. So <laughs> probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna head to one more place right now. What is this? I saw this place on the map and it had something to do with the railroad. So I don't really know what this is, but I'm gonna check it out. The super nice park ranger told me that if I go down here and to the left, that, oh wow, that sun is bright. <laughs> it is such a beautiful day. It is like 69 degrees and just absolutely beautiful out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go down here and to the left and I'm gonna check it out. She said there's like some sort of like, there's a place called the Lemon House down here where passengers used to like drink. Uh, it was like, this was like a passenger railroad basically. And this was before Horseshoe Curve, so like the 1850s or whatever. And uh, this is where they used to traverse the Allegheny Mountains, is what she said. So I probably should have just filmed her saying it, because I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to go down this path and check out this lemon house. Whoa, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Um, this is where passengers used to stop on the old railroad that used to come in through here through like the 1850s or whatever and uh wow look at this wood <laughs> this is amazing this reminds me of uh, railroads online it's like how they built the railroads like with these like little wood crossings this like looks so old oh this is so cool but yeah this is a preserved section of that from like the 1850s here she said to check out some place called the lemon house which is like a, a restored basically tavern where people used to stop at the summit of this railroad this is like the summit of the mountain railroad here and they used to get their drink on so yeah this is definitely it but here's like the grades and stuff i guess uh we're at the summit level so we're at the very top of the allegheny mountains whiskey please frozen margarita for haven Hall. what is this this is so cool it smells like the 1850s in here Is this oh okay so this was used to hoist up trains oh my god dude I've never seen anything like this in person this is wild so this is used to hoist up trains um, up inclines so I guess they use the ropes to hoist the trains up the hill like a roller coaster <laughs> that is crazy the engines of the trains could not make it up these hills. So these ropes combined, I guess, with other engines. Yeah. Wow. So they had boilers. So they had like steam engines up here. Oh, wow. Is that what those are? That's probably the boilers over there. That is wild. So they had like steam engines up here that would pull the trains up the hill. <laughs> that is so crazy. I don't know if you guys can like get an idea of this grade on the video, but there's a major grade here. So they used to pull the trains up the hill and then they would also uh, connect ropes to other trains going down the other side of the hill to counterbalance the train going up the hill too. So that makes sense, but very, very cool place. So this is how it worked. Here's how After uh, checking those places out, I think I got enough train stuff out of my system for a while. <laughs> um, I gotta say, it's always like, you know, the places you have no idea what you're getting into and then you find like an awesome place like this and you just had no idea it was even there. I've been to, uh, oh man, this is a slight grade, so sorry I'm out of breath. I've been to, um, this is my third visit, I think, to, horseshoe curve and I never really checked out the other places around it so I'm really glad I did this time because this was definitely my favorite place of all of them um, but yeah so I will see you guys um, 
I don't know when I'm gonna do another video like this. I gotta figure out like where I wanna go. Um, I really wanna get out west. I gotta go out to like Utah, Colorado, but that's gonna be, you know, a big trip. So it might take a little bit of planning involved in that. I don't wanna miss anything out there, so. But yeah, uh, no idea where I'll go next, but let me know if you guys like this sort of stuff. Um, if you want me to do more videos like this, just kind of like vlogging my van adventures. Oh man. Um, but yeah, leave a comment, leave a like if you want to. And uh, thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll catch you later. I'm heading home. Oh, I gotta fix that.